All right, uh, I'm going to do number three from the 2006 BC exam. Um, and this is a parametric equation problem. So uh, we're given a couple of derivatives. So I'm going to actually store those. I'm going to store them as dx of t. Um, where, uh, just make a cursor here. So dx of t, and that is the inverse sine of 1 minus 2, and then e to the negative t, so that's gross, um, and then dy of t is going to be uh, 4t over 1 plus t cubed, like that. All right, so I have them stored, and now I can use them. So the first question is find the acceleration vector at t equals 2. All right, so I know that to get that, what I need is the second derivative or the derivative of dx dt at 2. So let's do that. So I'm going to do one with respect to t of dx of t. And I want that at t equals 2, um, which gives me an exact value, but we can get the decimal. Um, and then I also want uh, to repeat that process for dy. So I'm going to just edit this. So I get both of those. And then I would write those down as a vector. So uh, 0.396 comma negative 0.741. Um, that's my acceleration vector. Um, I also need to find the speed. Speed is magnitude of velocity. So if I write the velocity as a vector, I would get that or that as decimals. And what I want is I want the magnitude of that. So I mean, if you paid attention, you know that you can find the norm of that vector and that would give you um, the speed that you're looking for. Um, the alternative is to do the uh, square root of uh, dx of 2 squared plus dy of 2 squared. And I'm guessing this is actually what most people do. Um, and we get that. Um, so that's a lot what my work would look like, actually. Square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, um, such that t equals 2. Uh, either way, that's our speed. Um, so question A actually had two parts. Uh, the next part tells us that the curve has a vertical tangent line at one point. And so what I'm going to do is let me put in another calculator page. Vertical tangent line. Um, actually, I want a graphing page. So if it's vertical, that means that dx is 0 and dy is not 0. So let's first graph um, dx as a function of x. and Let's find that 0. So I get this. So dx dt equals 0 at that particular value. Um, and then just to confirm, I'm going to graph dy as a function of x. And you can see that dy is definitely not 0 at that value. So the vertical tangent line would be when t is equal to 0 0.693. Um, you could also uh, use your calculator to solve that exactly if you have a cache. Um, and you got the natural log of 2. The next question uh, tells us that uh, m of t is the slope, and we want an expression for m of t. So maybe I'll use this page here. I want an expression for m of t. So that's going to be dy of t over dx of t. So that's gross, but that's it. Um, and then what I need to do is I need to take the limit as t approaches infinity of this. This is a calculator question, um, which is weird, because certain calculators would appear to have an advantage on this question. Um, what I'm going to do here is take the limit as t approaches infinity of that previous function. And I get 0. I mean, uh, what you can do is, uh, you know, if you have the non-cast such that t equals x, kind of change the variable for yourself. And then let's say f3 of x said equal to this. And then if we insert a graph, and look at it, you can tell that it's going to zero. Um, so that would be my answer to that. And um, part D says the graph has a horizontal asymptote y equals c, right? But do not evaluate an expression involving improper integral, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's insert another calculator page. So a horizontal asymptote um, is a y value. So what I really want to find is I want to find the y value kind of out at infinity. So I know that when t is 2, the y value is negative 3. 
So, I mean, I, I know that this is true. Y of 2 plus the integral from 2 to infinity. So I'm kind of typing up what the integral would be. And then um, if I just integrate dy dt, that'll tell me the total change in y from 2 to infinity. So I write dy dt here and then dt, or y prime of t if you're more comfortable. Um, so what I'll do is this, just so it looks like the way I've been using it on my calculator and get that. Um, it says not to find it, so I'm not going to. Um, but this would become negative 3 plus the integral from 2 to infinity of um, 4t over 1 plus t cubed dt. Um, so that's, well, that's pretty much the exact value right there if you substitute in your negative 3. Um, all right, so that's what I would do. And I hope you find this useful.